Hey, this is uh, this is Dan from Uncle Monster Face. He's, he's, I love his band. I played with him. I'm gonna try to bust you in your set. Hi, Dan. I'm going to read this erotic Mortal Kombat fan fiction. Innocent Lentis. One quixotic evening, a man walked into a dimly lit grocery store. This man was more like a monster. He had four arms and a very intimidating bulge. He was so strapping that even he made fruits and vegetables swoon when he walked past them. His name was Goro. Goro had come to the grocery store for only one thing. Tonight, he wasn't going to have a pear. He wasn't going to have an apple. He wasn't going to have a carrot or a cabbage. Tonight, Gora would be having lentils. Now, these lentils were virgin lentils. They had not seen the world beyond the grocery store. They were excited to go with Gora to experience the world. Little did they know, Gora was going to do more than just let them experience the world. Once Goro brought the lentils to his apartment, he put them in a bowl. He asked the lentils if they were comfortable, in which they had replied that they were very comfortable. But they didn't hear Goro say, Goro left the lentils for a moment. The lentils looked around his apartment and noticed how clean it was. Then the lentils saw something very awkward. It was Goro's bedroom. Inside the bedroom, the lentils could see candlelight. Goro came out of his bedroom and grasped the bowl of lentils. The lentils yelped and said, go easy with this guy. Goro grunted and continued on his way to the bedroom. Now the lentils could see more. There were rose petals lying on the floor in the bed. There were candles uh, about the room and soft music playing in the background. Now, frightened, the lentils asked nervously, Goro, what's with all this romantic stuff? But Goro grunted and changed the music to Death Motel Screamo. Suddenly, Goro dropped his underwear and thrust his package into a bowl. The lentils started screaming for Goro to stop and about how much it hurts, but ignored the lentils and Goro kept thrusting into the bowl. By now, the lentils had lost their voice and were now trying not to moan at the flesh. But Goro kept grunting as he kept pounding the bowl. Then, just as the lentils reached their climax, so did Goro. His liquids followed into the bowl and got the lentils all wet. Goro sat on his bed exhausted and placed the lentils next to him. <laughs> he looked over at them eagerly and saw that he had made lentil soup. <laughs> to this day, those lentils, they're, they're never the same. They had experienced more than they had ever wanted. Goro! Bravo. Innocent lentils. Thank you, Dan. That was oh, that was amazing. That was are you a little aroused right now? Are you a little, are you a little turned on? Not at all. Not even a little. I think I can have lessons for a while. I never look at Gore the same way. No one's like, you know, can I ask what the, uh, what the inspiration behind that? The beautiful piece? Um, well, uh, we're putting together this video for our right, set, right? right? And we're, we're looking uh, at yeah, really we're putting together a video for our combat clips for our set. And uh, we came upon we came upon this erotic Mortal Kombat fan fiction. This is the second in the series. And the first Goro fucks a cinder block. I think the the first is actually considerably better. It's it's, it's just better written. Yeah. The story's more compelling. That one is really the characters are really the characters are a little flat. My favorite like, thing though is that Goro lives in the suburbs and he goes to the grocery store. I, I want uh, yes. like I want to know why Goro doesn't live in Outworld or right. is an Outworld suburb. I don't know. <laughs> A grocery store in Outworld. But I mean, the the writer XXX Torrid XXX, my future wife, she missed a golden opportunity to give Zagoro two penises vertically arranged, which would match his four arms. Yeah, totally. I, and I yeah. guess maybe this is you know even excuse me. Excuse me. I'd like to interject and just mention to everyone that Nightcrawler has two penises. And that's that's, that's canon. That's now while you're here, though, I have to tell you that Shale and I are thinking about doing a porno film called Emergency Penis Party. Yeah, I'm. You would be. Uh, as Benjamin Bearback. What do you think? I like Spotify. Mm -hmm. Benjamin Bearback. It's dirty. Yeah. Emergency yeah. penis party. I'm down with that. I think we can do it. Awesome. All right, you guys work out the details for that. We will. We will. We'll, we'll get back. Right. Good luck. Good and you must uh, be on stage when I. Uh,